have mercy on me, Lord, for I languish. Lord, heal me, my bones are trembling, and my soul is greatly shaken. Alleluia. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. So we're offering our Mass today for the sick and the housebound. Uh, this would have been our annual SVP-led Mass today. Uh, that obviously can't happen because of uh, the social distancing requirements in place. But I'm offering this Mass even so for all those in our parish who are sick, whether that's because they are suffering with COVID-19 or they have some other uh, illness. I'm offering this Mass for the housebound, those who are you know, continually housebound or those who are just having to self-isolate or shield at this moment. This Mass is being offered for you. Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I had failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore I ask, Blessed Mary, Ever-Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Kyrie eleison, Kyrie eleison, Christe eleison, Christe eleison, Kyrie eleison, Kyrie eleison. Let us pray. O God, who will that our infirmities be borne by your only begotten Son, to show the value of human suffering, listen in kindness to our prayers for our brothers and sisters who are sick. Grant that all who are oppressed by pain, distress or other afflictions may know that they are chosen among those proclaimed blessed and are united to Christ in his suffering for the salvation of the world. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, for ever and ever. Amen. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. From Cilia, Paul went to Derbe and then on to Lystra. Here there was a disciple called Timothy, whose mother was a Jewess, who had become a believer, but his father was a Greek. The brothers at Lystra and Iconian spoke well of Timothy, and Paul, who wanted to have him as a travelling companion, had him circumcised. This was on account of the Jews in the locality, where everyone knew his father was a Greek. As they visited one town after another, they passed on the decisions reached by the apostles and elders in Jerusalem with instructions to respect them. So the churches grew strong in the faith, as well as growing daily in numbers. They travelled through Phrygia and the Galatian country, having been told by the Holy Spirit not to preach the word in Asia. When they reached the frontier of Mysia, they thought to cross it into Bithynia. But as the Spirit of Jesus would not allow them, they went through Mysia and came down to Troas. One night Paul had a vision. A Macedonian appeared and appealed to him in these words. Come across to Macedonia and help us. Once we had seen this vision, we lost no time in arranging a passage to Macedonia. 
convinced that God had called us to bring them the good news. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Cry out with joy to the Lord, all the earth. Cry out with joy to the Lord, all the earth. Cry out with joy to the Lord, all the earth. Serve the Lord with gladness. Come before him singing for joy. Cry out with joy to the Lord, all the earth. Know that he, the Lord, is God. He made us, we belong to him. We are his people, the sheep of his flock. Cry out with joy to the Lord, all the earth. Indeed, how good is the Lord, eternal his merciful love. He is faithful from age to age. Cry out with joy to the Lord, all the earth. Alleluia, alleluia. you have been brought back to true life with Christ. You must look for the things that are in heaven where Christ is, sitting at God's right hand. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Jesus said to his disciples, If the world hates you, Remember that it hated me before you. If you belong to the world, the world will love you as its own. But because you do not belong to the world, because my choice withdrew you from the world, therefore the world hates you. Remember the words I said to you, a servant is not greater than his master. If they persecuted me, they will persecute you too. If they kept my word, they will keep yours as well. But it will be on my account that they will do all this, because they do not know the one who sent me. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Paul meets the impressive Timothy, a young man who received the faith from his convert mother and grandmother. How important parents and grandparents are for handing on the faith to the next generation. Timothy is to proclaim the gospel to a Jewish community and so Paul circumcises him. Paul understands his audience would recognise Timothy's Jewish heritage from his mother's side and would not even entertain him if they thought that he was an apostate from Judaism. This would put the proclamation of the gospel at risk. Timothy is one of Paul's most faithful disciples, a valuable associate in his ministry, ministry work, and he is the recipient of two letters that we still have in sacred scripture. The local churches accept the decisions of the Council of Jerusalem, recognising the authority of the apostles. As the Council of Trent would later say, the true and saving doctrine which Christ taught, the Apostles then handed on, and the Catholic Church, under the inspiration of the Holy Spirit, ever maintains. Therefore, no one should subsequently dare to believe, preach or teach anything different. All those who take up posts as parish priests and head teachers of our schools must affirm that they will uphold the Catholic faith. It is of the greatest help and benefit to a person and to a country to receive the gospel. How fortunate that the UK has been founded on gospel values and we would do well to remember our Christian heritage. St Paul and his companions understand the great act of charity it is for the preacher to prepare people for the gift of faith that they are seeking when they present themselves for baptism. And it should also motivate every Christian to share their joy of the gospel and to eagerly wish to hand on the Catholic and apostolic faith. Our Lord reminds us that there is no compromise between him and the world. 
And so it is no easy task to hand on the gospel to those who have been seduced by the darkness of sin. Those who have convinced themselves that bad is good, that falsehood is true. Even so, as the psalmist sings today, cry out with joy all the earth, serve the Lord with gladness, come before him singing for joy. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Pray, my brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at my hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Since the moments of our life unfold, O God, according to your good pleasure, receive the prayers and sacrificial offerings by which we employ your mercy for our brothers and sisters who are ill, that having been anxious for them in their danger, we may rejoice at their recovery of health, through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, at all times to acclaim you, O Lord, but in this time above all to lord you yet more gloriously when Christ our Passover has been sacrificed. He never ceases to offer himself for us, but defends us and ever pleads our cause before you. He is the sacrificial victim who dies no more, the lamb once slain who lives forever. Therefore, overcome with pastoral joy, every land, every people exults in your praise, and even the heavenly powers with the angelic hosts sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim. Sanctus, Sanctus, Sanctus Dominus Deus Sabaoth, plenis un celia terra, gloria tua, hosanna in excelsis, benedictus, qui venit in nomine Domini, hosanna in excelsis. You are indeed o holy, O Lord, and all you have created rightly gives you praise. For through your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, by the power and working of the Holy Spirit, you give life to all things and make them holy. And you never cease to gather a people to yourself, so that from the rising of the sun to its setting, a pure sacrifice may be offered to your name. Therefore, O Lord, we humbly implore you, by the same Spirit, graciously make holy these gifts we have brought to you for consecration that they may become the body and blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, at whose command we celebrate these mysteries. For on the night he was betrayed, he himself took bread, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, 
which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which shall be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Save us, Saviour of the world, for by your cross and resurrection you have set us free. Therefore, O Lord, as we celebrate the memorial of the saving passion of your Son, his wondrous resurrection and ascension into heaven, and as we look forward to his second coming, we offer you in thanksgiving this holy and living sacrifice. Look, we pray, upon the oblation of your church, and recognising the sacrificial victim by whose death you will to reconcile us to yourself. Grant that we who are nourished by the body and blood of your Son, and filled with his Holy Spirit, may become one body, one spirit in Christ. May he make of us an eternal offering to you, so that we may obtain an inheritance with your elect, especially with the most blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with your blessed apostles and glorious martyrs, with St. Mary Magdalene, St. Martha, St. Richard, and with all the saints on whose constant intercession in your presence we rely for unfailing help. May this sacrifice of our reconciliation, we pray, O Lord, advance the peace and salvation of all the world. Be pleased to confirm in faith and charity your pilgrim church on earth, with your servant Francis our Pope and Richard our Bishop, the order of bishops, all the clergy, and the entire people you have gained for your own. Listen graciously to the prayers of this family, whom you have summoned before you. In your compassion, O merciful Father, gather to yourself all your children scattered throughout the world. To our departed brothers and sisters, and to all who are pleasing to you at their passing from this life, give kind admittance to your kingdom. There we hope to enjoy forever the fullness of your glory, through Christ our Lord, for whom you bestow on the world all that is good. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honour is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Saviour's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins but on the faith of your church and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will who live and reign for ever and ever. The peace of the Lord be with you always. An just day, qui tollit peccata mundi, miserere nobis. An just day, qui tollit peccata mundi, miserere nobis. An just day, Qui tollis peccata mundi, dona nobis pacem. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. 
Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. In my flesh I am completing what is lacking in the afflictions of Christ on behalf of his body, which is the church. Let us pray. O God, only support of our human weakness, show the power of your protection over your servants who are sick, that sustained by your merciful help, they may be restored to your holy church in good health, through Christ our Lord. Amen. Uh, tomorrow is Sunday, the sixth Sunday of Easter. Uh, we'll have a live stream liturgy of the word for children at 9 a.m. and then we'll have a live streamed mass at 10 a.m. Please do go to our parish website where you'll find every week an updated newsletter. Wishing you all a um, very happy Saturday and weekend. Uh, do keep safe and well. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your life. Thanks be to God. Regina Cheine Tare, Alleluia. Quia, quia morus di portare, Alleluia. Resurrexit sicut dicti, Alleluia. Ora pro nobis Deum, Alleluia.